After wrapping up non conference play last week with a lopsided 52 to 10 victory over San Diego, it was wheels up to Oregon for the Bobcats as they prepare for their big sky opener against Portland State. The last time these two teams met was in 2018 with Montana State finishing on top in dominant fashion. But if you ask any of those veterans, they'll tell you the Vikings are a much different program. This is probably the best Portland State team for me personally that I've seen since I've been here. A lot of great experience, a lot of super good athletes. They're pretty sound and they play a little bit different style of defense, um, so it can be tough on offenses for sure. Through the first three games, Montana State's opponents has primarily played a four down defense. It's an alignment the Bobcats also play in practice against daily, but this week will present a much different front. They play a flex defense. The flex aspect comes from playing a stand up linebacker essentially over a guard or over both guards and kind of playing at the heels of the defensive lineman and then setting the other linebackers deeper. It's a defense that not too many people run that does give I think people problems with the flex defense. It's allowed lineman VJ Malo to get loose, racking up a team high five and a half sacks through the first three games. Again, this scheme frees guys up. You know, when he's been given opportunities to make plays, he has moves well, you know, strong, all those things uh, that it, you want in a D lineman. So he's he's definitely a guy that uh, we have to account for. And it will be as much of a challenge on the defensive side of the ball for the Cats with Davis Alexander at the reins for Portland State. Despite sporting a one and two record, the dual threat QB currently sits fourth in the FCS for passing yards with 998. He can make plays. He's like a little Johnny Manziel back there. He's talented, so we'll have to do a good job containing him. we have to do a good job staying in coverage when he scrambles. He's able to extend plays, and he's really what drives them. His favorite target, Bo Kelly, also has been a driving force on offense, sitting second in the FCS for receiving yards with 344 on 20 receptions and four touchdowns. They're different than any offense that we played the first three weeks. They're going to spread it out, and we're going to be in space a little bit more. Uh, we better do a good job tackling, do a good job running to the ball, and you know, do a good job getting them off the field on third down. Luckily for Montana State, they're getting back a major piece of their defense this Saturday. Cornerback Tyrell Thomas, who is making his fall debut. Kickoff is set for 3.05 Mountain Time, which will be streamed on ESPN+. In Hillsborough Stadium, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.